Let's now take a look at what Cassandra is being used for. Cassandra is being used by over 1,500 different organizations for a variety of purposes, from sensor data, to recommendation engines, to gaming, to fraud detection, to location-based services, to online financial products. Many organizations choose Cassandra for projects that require massive scalability and or high availability. Let's take a look at some of these. I'm here on Planet Cassandra. If you'd like to follow along with me, open up a browser window and go to planetcassandra.org. Once you're here on Planet Cassandra, over on the right, go ahead and select Read Technical Use Cases. On this page, we could scroll down through well over a hundred different use cases that have been written up, or we could take a look at a few by going through these tabs, through these categories. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and select product catalog slash playlist. And if we scroll down this list, we're going to see some familiar names like Comcast, Hulu, Netflix, Sky. Netflix chose Cassandra not only for its scalability, but also for its high availability. With customers accessing Netflix at all hours, Netflix needed a system that could always be available with no downtime. Netflix is a huge Cassandra user. I'm going to scroll back up and choose another category, recommendation slash personalization. So I've got a number of use cases in this category as well. Outbrain is used to provide you with content that's relevant to what you've been clicking on. You might notice that when you go to some websites and you're clicking on links related to a topic, that you might then see advertising start showing up related to that same topic. And that could very well be provided by Outbrain. They reach 86% of the U.S. online population. Fraud detection, another category here. I'm going to go ahead and call out Barracuda Networks. If we want to see more detail about any of these use cases, we can click on the Read Use Case link. And if we scroll down through, we can learn more about why they choose Cassandra and how they're using it. In the case of Barracuda Networks, they've been wanting to track all of the malicious websites on the internet. And in the past, before Cassandra, when they had a relational database, they were limited by how much data they could store. So as a result, when a malicious website was inactive, they would go ahead and take it off their list because they had limited storage space. But the problem is that that site might later come back and start being active again. And they were running into that quite a bit. And they were referring to these malicious sites that were coming back as zombies. They had been dead, but now they're back alive. Now, through Cassandra, they don't have that problem anymore because they have the ability to store massive amounts of data. They don't have to worry about throwing any of these off the list and then having them come back to haunt them. I'm going to go back to our page here of use cases. Messaging. Lots of companies are using Cassandra as part of their messaging platform. Another category I'll mention which is quite hot, is the Internet of Things slash sensor data category. Being able to make measurements, let's say devices in your home, and maybe you have different devices in the different rooms in your home that are measuring your temperature, and maybe they're measuring it every minute or every second. Imagine millions of homes with millions of devices, and let's say they were being measured every second or every minute. That's a huge amount of data that needs to get written to a database that can handle that volume, all those writes coming in. Cassandra is a great database for that type of situation. This was just a quick little look into some different companies and how they're using Cassandra and why. So I encourage you to take a couple more minutes and look through this. Click on Read Use Case for some of these companies that look interesting to you and might be similar to how you're thinking of using Cassandra.